Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to create a resource or record by using invoke web service action with post method. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with invoke web service action to update the existing record by using put method. Put method is used to update the existing records or resources by using HTTP request. Let's start with a small use case. If you see on my screen, I'm having the list of the employees from the employee table. Over here, if you observe, I'm having ID one with first name Amir one and the last name Basha one. And if you observe the same way, 11th record also with the ID 11, I'm having first name Amir one and Basha one. I want to update this any one of the record by using ID. How can I go ahead and do that? Now let's go to the API once again. Over here you can see I'm having two ways to update the record. You can see over here I'm having two methods that is put method over here. Another one put method with ID. Over here I'm going to explain the method with the first method by passing the ID value from URI. Let's click on that. Now over here, what you are going to do, we are going to pass the parameters as body parameters with the first name, last name, and gender, and salary. You can see the request formats for the body parameters. We are going to send it in JSON format. All right, along with that, we have to pass the ID through URL. So I want to pass API slash employees and the ID which you want to update. Over here in our case, the ID is 11, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass the ID from the URL and then I'm going to pass the data by using JSON request format, all right? This is my first way. Another way you can see over here, I'm having another way to update the existing records by using put method. Over there, I'm not going to use any ID or I'm not going to use any request from the URI. I'm just going to pass directly the values, ID values from the request body in the JSON format. All right. First of all, let me show you how to pass the values from the URI as well as the, from the request body. All right. Now let's switch to workflow over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to invoke the web service by clicking on that. I'm going to change the parameters over here. So first in the URL, I need to pass the value for the ID. If you see in our case, I'm going to pass the value as 11. The ID is employee ID is 11 and the method. I'm going to update the record so that I'm going to use put method over here. And the request body, you can see over here, I'm going to change the values over here as Sunil and then last name as Paritala. Okay. So, and I'm going to give the gender as male and I'm going to keep it the salary as is. Okay. Now what will happen over here? For this employee ID 11, which I'm going to pass through the URL that is from the URI and the request body, it will update with the details which I have given in the ID 11. All right. Now, once again, let's go to the advanced parameters and there I'm going to disable this encode request body because of I don't want to encode this request body over here. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's click on save. By using first method, I'm going to pass the ID from my URL and then the updating details like request format, I'm going to send it in JSON format and I have given the details in the body parameters, right? Now let's go ahead, let's execute the flow by clicking on run. Flow execution started. And if you see over here, the status is 204 and then we don't have any response from the particular methods. That's why you can see web service response as blank or null. I don't have any values that I'm returning from the particular method. All right, let's close that. Now we will see the data has been updated or not for the record 11 or the ID 11 
in database. Let's go back to the database. And you can see in the 11th previous data, I'm having Amir1 and Basha1, right? Now, once again, let's say execute the select query. Now you, you can see for the 11th ID, I'm, I got it the new details like Sunil and Paritala and gender is male. The details have been updated successfully. Now, this is one of the way that to update the details by using put method, by using URL as well as the request body. Now, I will show you another way. I don't want to pass the values in my URL. Then how can I go ahead and do that? You can see I'm having another put method to update the existing records or resources by using HTTP request. All right. Now, I'm going to use this method over here that is put method with the URL API slash employees. Now, I'm going to make the changes in the invoke web service action. I'm not going to give any idea over here. And I'm going to use the URL as is, that is HTTPS localhost slash API slash employees. And I'm going to give the method as put and the remaining parameters accept content type are the same. Now, how can I go ahead and give the ID over here? Now I'm going to give the ID over here. ID is employee ID. Okay. The value is employee ID in the particular object. Okay. Now, what are the employee ID one is there? You can see over here, one is Amir one. I need to update with, I have to update with Amir and Basha. I don't want to update with the Amir one or Basha one. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the values, the first name as Amir, and the last name, I'm going to keep it as Basha. Okay, and then I'm going to give the remaining parameters as is. The salary also, I'm going to give it as 60,000. Okay, now, I'm not going to be pass the ID from the URL or from URI. I'm going to pass the ID in the request body itself. And after that, if you observe the encode request body, I'm not going to encode it. I'm going to disable it. Let's go ahead. Let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see we got the status code as 204 and the web service response is null. All right. Now we'll go for the database. And if you see the first record previously had Amir1 and Basha1. Once we'll execute the select query again, this details has been updated. Let's execute that. Now if you see the record one, that is first name as Amir and last name as Basha has been updated successfully. All right. I hope you understand how to work with invoke web service action by using put method through URL as well as the request body. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.